what communities are you a part of? Yeah, I guess I'm kind of a part of, of two, like living between Hamilton and Napier now. Um, yeah, it is a little bit tougher at the moment with like the younger family and, mm. and rugby being pretty busy, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not part of any community boards or anything, but I always coming from a small town, I guess growing up, you knew everyone and everyone's approachable, so um, you know, whenever I'm out, of, out and about or whatever, then you know, I always would like to think I'm approachable and friendly to anyone that wants to say hello and have a yeah. chat. And um, yeah, I think that that also goes a long way, as especially in this world, is just being kind to people and being out there and f- for anyone really. Yeah. To play a team sport, like you're, you're not everyone's best mate. Yeah. But you have to find a way, well, not have to, but you know, you get on with team members to make. The, the, the team work and the bigger picture mm. the goals become reality um, and yeah like you say it's and we also live in a world where actions speak louder than words so when you were in Japan were there any communities that you connected to over there with like with the girls with kindy or school or through rugby yeah we um we put our youngest daughter into a full Japanese preschool um, which when me and my wife went to pick her up or drop her off we couldn't really we couldn't have a conversation they didn't yeah. have much English um, <laughs> so that was a bit of an experience but yeah quite, I think quite cool for her yeah. and um, our oldest daughter they actually start school at four over in Japan so okay. she had to go to an international school which was about 500 meters away yeah. Um, but yeah just being in Japan like the Japanese people were so polite mm. um, there's very minimal theft there like some our coach left his bike at a cafe for two weeks and then was like oh yeah I left it there <laughs> the cafe's only 100 metres away yeah, he, just, yeah. he walks back and his bike's still there and um, they'll happily queue up for an hour if they want to go to a restaurant and yeah. stuff like that so just even being in a different country and seeing the way they live kind of like you said they're not in a rush a lot of the yeah. time they'll just enjoy what they're doing and and carry on so yeah probably one of the most I don't know, significance was we were lost one day and um, we asked a Japanese person where the train station was and they went out of their way to walk us 10 minutes to the train station to make sure we got on the right train and then they just carried on their day. So.